season matchup as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you and now we sit CD at week three of the preseason and this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable right? Certainly this is the dress rehearsal this is the one where your starters are going to play you might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game and then you've got to decide do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The commander's offense set to go to work, and they're led by the veteran who's bounced around a bit in season number eight now. It's Jacoby Brissett. Spent the early years of his career bouncing between starter and backup as needed and played well, but never had a team fully commit to him as their guy. He does retain the toolbox that made him projectable as a starter. Big, strong player with a powerful arm, deceptively mobile, and tough to tackle. The best part about his game, leadership, and being a great teammate. Brissett going to go to the air right away. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Robinson will try to pick it up. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is. Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Here's second and seven. Brissett now. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there. Good for Washington first down. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? Really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 22. They start the drive with Evans. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Evans gets it again on second down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, Burrow eluding the pressure right. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Evans running behind center. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. One advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. They'll try and run for it with Evans. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Here we go. 
first down. Here's Burrow. And this throw will be intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. But what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people came not expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. I remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They'll begin on the ground with Evans. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now a second and ten. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. 
Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second and five. to throw Brissett. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Brissett. He's got a man complete. Big yardage that time for Washington. 51 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Throwing, Brissett. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it's second down. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. They need 12 here. It's third down. Let's go, be tight Let's go, be tight Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. The Bengals drive about to get going. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot more position. than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First and 10, Joe Burrow on the screen. This is Evans. 
A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Evans running straight ahead. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Snap that at one. Now it's Burrow. That's complete to the tight end sample. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Now Burrow loses the football, and it's washed. Does the big boy have the juice? And he is going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. The big boy earning his lunch. That's what you call rumbling with the ball, Charles. Big man with football. He wasn't just earning lunch, Brandon. He was earning dinner. He was <laughs> midnight snack. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly do, he did it on that play to pick up the ball and go. Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Give up the middle to Evans. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, I would have figured up to the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Thank you. 
The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for this with Evans. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. This one now in their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. On the ground with a tight end. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Burrow. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Straight ahead, it's Evans. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Changing the look. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. That one goes for 30 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit, and they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. This is Mixon on the draw. And he is going to lose yardage here. It was Deron Payne who got in there to make the play. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. Burrow will throw. Under pressure and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Jonathan Allen the former first round pick getting in there to bring him down. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot and here another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not pulled well at all here in the first half. Here we go. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. This is caught, it's Boyd. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Evans is in. Touchdown, Bengals. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. That one in the books as a 12 play drive. And it was finished off by Chris Evans' touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus-yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. I have to tell you, Brandon, I feel like a coach right now because I'm wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when, as an inside linebacker, you're always taught, don't let someone cross your face. If they want to go outside, it's okay. But they make that outside fake, cut back inside, off into great success. First down, Brissett. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards the pickup, first down Washington. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down and a run by Robinson. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team 
defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third and short yardage, Brissett. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer. But I'll guarantee this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. The Burroughs throw into the hands of Sample. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a second and five. Running right, this is Evans. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. This offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Burrow looking to pass. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. That is caught. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as he's brought to the ground after a gain of seven, five more than he needed on fourth and two. I remember pregame when we were talking to him on the field and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They're passing here. Joe Burrow working the middle here. That's complete to sample the tight end. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Washington on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. On 
on the handoff, it's Evans. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll go right back to Evans here on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Here we go. Second and ten. the delay it's Mixon the second down play not much better than the first just a gain of one there early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position we know the securing the point of attack especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this day has got to be priority one <laughs> off the play fake here's Burrow Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. A draw play for Mixon. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. the gun it's a run by Evans and he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two and a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone he's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half they had that one earlier was bidding for a second The Commander's defense looking for a stop here. It's third and goal. They'll look to run with Evans. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. and push the offense backwards a bit. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. 
from the right hash here should be an easy one. McPherson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17-game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for at least one more drive. Something to look forward to as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. All in all, pretty manageable deficit, Charles, here as they start this third quarter offensively when you consider the fact that in the first two quarters, they had two costly turnovers. I think you laid it out there perfectly, partner. Very tough to hold a lead going into the break if you continue to hand it over on multiple drives. Yeah, and obviously, Charles, it would be very tough to climb back into the game if those turnovers continue. I would say borderline impossible. You keep turning it over, I don't know how you make up a deficit. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. playoff as he'll look to throw he's got his target that's complete and he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion this has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective nice completion there keeps the sticks moving First and ten, it's Evans. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Evans gets it again on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first Here down. They'll run on first down with Evans. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Here's second and ten. Ready. 
And now they will throw it with Burrow. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here into the hands of Boyd. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in a defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Flushed out right. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Drew Sample from 13 yards out. And the Bengals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings, they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. On third down, Brissett. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. 
Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Tressway now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. On oh, the return is Jones. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. This to the sideline and over everybody, incomplete. No flags forthcoming, though. Maybe a break there. That looked like a clear throwaway to me. On second down, a run with Evans. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 58 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, OK, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They'll try and run for it with Evans. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. First down. Points the target and he has it over the middle. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This second and four. Evans running behind center. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Burrow on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Good work there to force the incompletion and fourth down. Normally, it'd be a quick change for the punt return unit, but this offense has converted twice on fourth down so far, so you may want to double-check things there and make sure they're actually going to kick the football. Defense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. And they'll run for it with Evans. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure that luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, 
someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. They go play action with Burrow. Man open here is Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And the Commanders are going to get the football here at their own 23. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter, but now potentially a play that could have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up, but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Robinson up the middle. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. Robinson will try to pick it up. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Jones on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati set to take over once again. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. On second down, here's Mixon. A beautiful fake. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down.
Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They run with a rookie. It's Chase Brown. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, Stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. 
The Commanders preparing for their next possession. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their 25-yard line. Here's Gibson to start the drive. A little juke, and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. On second down, a run with Patterson. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's in the lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Got a man, it's Diaby Brown complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now how? And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And Howell will throw it. Over the middle here to Brown. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 57 to mark. 57 to mark. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now they go play action with Hal. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 and the 15. First target, first catch, and a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 12 more yards there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Throwing here, Howell. This one left side caught by Patterson. Touchdown, Washington. Jared Patterson from three yards out. And the Commanders are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth.
Slide for the PAT. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Ready to go on offense, out come the Bengals. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. To throw, Browning. Escaping the print, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Inside the 20. Such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Patterson will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. On first down, Hal, and that one going to be off target and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hal now to throw it. Open man, that's Milne. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Hal to the air on first and 10. This pass into the hands of Turner. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now he'll look to throw it. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Powell. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. It was the safety blitz that ultimately did the job, and they're going to credit him with a sack. Sly able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Browning. This will be caught by Brown. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And inside give, Brown. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And worth reminding at this point, no overtime in the preseason. But that may not come into play here in a two-score game late. Here's Browning. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. To throw again. 
Browning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30 yard line. Well, there's a time and a place for everything. Down two scores late in the fourth. I get it. Now is the time to throw it downfield, but that one might just write an end to this ball game. Yeah, I hear all the time how critical I am of play calls. Not in this situation. No other choice, really. Look at the clock. Look at the scoreboard. Had to press it and take a chance. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. A nice pickup of 17 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. change in this ball game in the fourth quarter Charles they just completely took over and not only did they get the lead they end up winning somewhat comfortably and when we spent time talking with them before the game they made sure that we knew that they thought that they were the better team in this one and they never lost that thought or lost that focus and they played like it in the fourth quarter that's how you offer a late comeback and get a win so that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.